How do you draw the Lewis structure for zinc oxide? Well, zinc is one of the, well, it's not officially a transition metal. It sits here and likes to have a charge of positive too. Oxygen is a non-metal. And uh, when you combine metals with non-metals, you get an ionic compound. That means there's going to be a transfer of electrons from the metal to the non-metal. Now, the charge on zinc is always plus two. My periodic table doesn't tell me that, but I know that. So if I used to have a periodic table that told me, and that's what it said. Zinc only ever has a charge of plus two. So what I want you to do is to draw yourself the zinc with one, two valence electrons around it. Two for the positive two charge that it's gonna want. Oxygen is in group 16, and so it brings six valence electrons with it. That's O with a one, two, three, four, five, six dots around it. Now, oxygen actually does satisfy the octet rule all of the time. I've never seen an exception to the octet rule for oxygen. Uh, I take that back. But anyways, the point is that nonmetals want to have a complete outer shell of eight electrons. And this oxygen only has six. It needs two more. Where is it going to get the two? Well, I already told you the metals give their electrons away to the non-metals. Now, this happens to be perfect because oxygen needs two electrons and zinc has two electrons. But if you have a mismatch in the number, just keep adding some of each atom until they all cancel each other out perfectly, right? All the zincs should be empty and all the oxygen should be full with eight electrons each. The fact that I only need one of each is kind of given away here in the formula. Zn, there's no subscript there. O, there's no subscript there. It's one of each. That's the formula because you only need one zinc for every oxygen. That's the way the molecule works. To complete the actual Lewis structure, because this is just showing how it happens, is drawing the zinc without its valence electrons, because it gave them away, and its charge, which is now plus two, because it lost two negatively charged electrons. Losing negatives makes you positive, right? And oxygen will have its six valence electrons, like that, plus one, two from zinc. So now that oxygen is also an ion with a minus two charge because it has two extra electrons. This here is the complete Lewis structure for zinc. This is just me showing how it happens, right? This is what you came for. I gave it to you just like you asked for. Best of luck.